Hoochie coochie. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yo. Oh, let's go. Let's go. What's up, guys? It's TJ, a.k.a. Fishing with the Yak Pack. I'm here today with my good friend, Fishing with Norm. Hello, you guys, everybody. You guys have been all in the comments talking about you love when Norm and I fish together. That's freaking awesome. So we're here, actually, Norm and I are here today at Bass Pro Shop. And just like you saw in the thumbnail on Twitter, we're going to be going in there and buying the five cheapest fishing lures that Bass Pro has to offer. And then we're going to take them bad boys fishing to see if fish like cheap lures or if they're kind of like bougie and like expensive lures. I don't know. <laughs> but I do know this. A thousand likes on this video, and I will go do the same exact thing in Bass Pro Shop, but with the five most expensive lures. You guys want to see that happen? 1,000 likes on this video. Don't forget to check Norm out. He's going to be down in the description below. And with that said, I'm ready to go shop. Are you ready to, are you? I'm ready to go find the cheapest lures. In Bass Pro. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the new rule in Florida is you have to wear a mask no matter where you go. So obviously, we have our face mask on, but Check it out. So I'm over here. I just noticed this in the uh, the crappy section. Crappy, 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 crappy. However you say it. Is your mask on inside out? Is his mask on inside out? Is it? I think the blue goes on the outside. Does the blue go on the outside? Oh, yeah. Hold up. <laughs> there we go. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> so what I decided uh, just now, literally split second decision, is I don't, I'm going to ignore the crappy stuff because I'm sure there's some, like right here. There's some dollar forty nine stuff right here for some for like crappy stuff, but I'm gonna do strictly bass. So we're gonna find the five cheapest bass specific fishing, cheap bass pro fishing lure <laughs> with our mask on challenge. Let's go. So Norm and I are like walking around and we're noticing like everything, the average price to something is like I don't know what would you say like four or five bucks. That's yeah, what it looks like. like. Three forty nine, four ninety nine, and yeah. like five ninety nine. Yeah, that's the average price. So we're we're gonna try to find stuff for like. Like two ninety nine right there, or even like two forty nine or ninety nine cent. Anything cheap that we can find, anything at all, anything whatsoever that is just ridiculously cheap. I'm actually curious to see, like, would bass do they discriminate against like cheap versus expensive? I don't know. That's a good question. Two twenty nine. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you what. You trying to lose a one v one pond fishing challenge? Go get your grandpa. I guarantee you, he's gonna fish one of these, and I bet you he's gonna bust that. Do you see anything under $2.99? I see a lot of $2.99 stuff, but I'm not really like trying to buy like $2.99 stuff. I want like, I want the dirt cheap. Oh, here we go. $1.99. Really? Yep. Look at that. What in the world? Chartreuse silver hoochie coochie. <laughs> hey, I know it gets hotter <laughs> than a hoochie coochie. All right, that's a, that's, we're getting that. $1.99, definitely getting that. All right. Jeepers. One down, four to go. Oh, we have another dollar ninety-nine thing. Orange. I'll get a different color. Let's go wild. I think that's kind of wild. Yeah, we'll do that one. Okay, we'll do this one. Dollar ninety-nine. A little swim bait. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Two down. Three to go. Hey, don't forget, guys. A thousand likes on this video, and I'm gonna come in here with Norm and do the same exact thing. But I'm gonna do it with the most expensive fishing lures in Bass Pro Shop. That is going to be quite the video because. I think they've got like some $40 swim baits running around. Like they've got all kinds of really expensive fishing lures in here. So that would be really, really awesome. So like I said, a thousand likes, we'll make it happen. So Norm and I have been walking around and uh, he actually found some lures over here. I was trying to find some other lures over there, but what did you find, Norm? Show them what you found. Yeah, so guys, I found for only $1.88, these are on sale. These are like lipless crankbaits, but they're soft body. So they're not the actual hard body rattle traps. These are soft bodies. They're silent, but they look more natural. And I think for $1.88, this will actually be like a really good lure. I like that color too. Yeah, there's two different. Oh, you pick the color, you pick the color. All right. Which one do you want? I'm thinking guys, these are the two different colors. I'm thinking this one right here. Yep, I, I like, like that, that one. one more. I dig it. So here we go guys, lure number three now. So three, we need to find yep. two more in the similar price range. That one was $1.88. So here you are, Yak Pack. There we go. Three lures down. Well, that's, this doesn't count, that's fine. <laughs> three down, two to go. All right, Norm and I have been looking around for like, we've literally been in here for like 30 minutes, okay? Literally walking up and down. I said literally like seven times just now. That's, <laughs> uh, anyways, we've been down every aisle probably like five times. And I, I was trying to avoid these because I got these in my last challenge video, but we're gonna go ahead and get them again because they are ridiculously cheap. They're 269 and it's the last pack. The black and blue, yum dangers. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. All right, what was that? One, two, three, four, four down, four. Yeah, four, no. Yes, that's four. That is, 
that's four. Four down, one to go. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, Norm just called me over here. What do you got, Norm? So for 229, guys, the spinning worm. I like the yellow one. It's the, super crazy. Yeah. But I also found something else in a similar price range. Ooh. So where was that? Okay. It's so right here, 279, guys. And remember, this is Bass Pro Shop. It's probably the most highest priced tackle shopping place ever. But for 279, you have the Bass Pro Shop's brand, just <laughs> big old paddle oh tail swim God, bait. Dude. I've never even seen these things before. I don't know if these would catch fish or not, but we kind of have like two options here for number five. You know how we settle this, Norm? For rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I, I, I didn't thinking. know which one you were going for. <laughs> All right, let me set this down. All right. All right. If you guys know anything about me and Norm and rock, paper, scissors, I don't think I've ever beaten Norm. I, I've lost yeah. to Norm. I've had to do, I've had to spend 24 hours on a kayak because I lost to Norm. I don't even remember what else I've had. I, did, I had to do I'm some pretty things. sure I'm 4-0. Oh yeah, yeah. Years, I've had to like wear the crazy rainbow four. suit in Academy while tackle shopping. <laughs> like, I've had to do some crazy stuff. So the, uh, one single rock, paper, scissors game is going to decide which one we buy. So winner gets to pick which one we take. How about that? Sure. Good? All right. Yeah. Let's run it. You ready? All right. Yep. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Come on. <laughs> Bro, which one do you want? Dude. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have better luck on this. I, I like this. Yeah. I like that. Putting so. this thing back. Maybe that could be for another video though. Yeah. Like for real. That thing looks crazy. It looks like a mullet almost. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it would work. Yo, why am I 0 and 5 in rock, paper, scissors? That's the real question. Yeah. I need to go I need to go YouTube how to play rock, paper, Yo, scissors. Yo, I need to go buy a lottery ticket, honestly. I know. Like, I don't... All right, we've got our five cheapest fishing lures from Bass Pro Shop. Now we're gonna head outside. Well, we're not gonna head outside because we're gonna pay for them first. We don't want to just head outside without paying for them, because that's that's bad. You don't want to do that. We're gonna go pay for these and then we'll see you guys outside. Ah, there we go. Oof, now I can breathe. All right, we finally successfully made it outside of Bass Pro. We've got our five cheapest fishing lures, and Norm has a truck. I'm just kidding. I bought the truck for my little boy. But uh, the five cheapest lures ended up costing us. I'll have to look on the receipt, but it was $33 total. Take away $15 for that, so like 17 bucks or something like yeah. that. We Quick. were averaging probably like $2 per Yeah, lure. yeah, no, we, we did good. the ones and one of the two, like the twos. Yeah. So. Yeah, we did good. So. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go rig all this stuff up. We're going to go fishing, and uh, the goal is to try to catch fish on every single one of these fishing lures. And if we do that, then we'll try to catch one on the truck. I'm just kidding. That's not going to happen. Maybe. Maybe. Thousand, <laughs> thousand and three likes, and we'll do that. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, anyways, we're going to go try to do that. And I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something. I was going to say something. I feel like it was super important, and I just I don't remember. I really don't. I really don't. This, this is bad. Um, I'm losing my mind. You know what? I'll just make up for you. I hope you guys are having a, a great day. All right. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We have our lures. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I really feel like, I really feel like whatever I was gonna say was like borderline important. I just don't remember what it was. I really don't. But it looks like we better get to fishing because we might have some, we might have some storms coming in. All right. Are you ready, Norm? I'm ready. Let's do it. We have pulled up to the spot. Norm, these are the, the lures right here. You picked out, which ones did you pick? You picked these two, that's right. Yeah. Well, you you won this one, because I'm a terrible rock, paper, scissors player. Which one of those do you want to fish? I mean, I want to fish this one. I, I knew it, bro, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I knew Norm was gonna say it. Yeah. That's okay, though. Norm is a, uh, Norm's from the trap house. He likes fishing and stuff like that, so. Facts. You got it. I'm gonna go with the one that I think is gonna be the quickest to get out of the way. And that's going to be the yum. And then from there, we'll have, uh, I guess we'll just, you catch a fish and you just switch it up. Just, yeah. What in the world do you have tied on right now? A beautiful. Oh, Chatter I didn't know bait. what that was. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, I didn't know what that was. <laughs> it looked a little weird from, from over here. Every fisherman's favorite sign to see. There we go, baby. First one of the day. Let's go. That didn't take long. The bait that I had the most confidence in. You already got him? Yes, sir. On the uh, the black and blue Senko. Check that out. I would be the one guy that starts a, a fishing video, a day of fishing, with a freaking dead battery. Yeah, that was literally like second pitch. Yeah. But that's why I used that one, because I figured I had the most like i had the most confidence in that especially in that color too clouds cloud cover and then you got black and blue 
and now I've got this like chartreuse swim bait. I just literally norm tied it on this combo. This is actually a really nice combo. This uh, what is that hyper mag? <laughs> yeah. The hyper mag on the pro ti rod. That's like that is wicked. Like that thing is sweet. So Norm already had that tied on. Now I'm just kind of like doing the same thing around this whole like dock right here, just bouncing this swim bait off the bottom. Dude, I freaking swallowed that energy drink down my lungs. Yeah, you be. <laughs> Are you good, bro? Sick, dude. That's what you don't do as a fisherman. Leave your line in the water. Yeah, that's how you know that some people have been fishing here. Stupid. I'm trying to get a good. Oh, yo! <laughs> On the chartreuse, baby! On the chartreuse! Let's go. Do a flip. There he goes. Boat flip, baby! <laughs> Let's go. Dude, we've been here for like eight minutes. That's freaking epic. Okay, so we've got the, the black and blue Senko out of the way. We've got the chartreuse swim bait out of the way. How epic. Now we just need to upgrade in size. We've caught two roughly about the same size. I think the first one was a little bit bigger, but let's, uh, let's get them back and let's go see if we can catch one. What do we have left? We have the, the trap, right? Yeah, the spinner worm. The trap, the spinner worm. Oh God, that spinner worm, I feel like it's gonna be tough. Okay, the trap, the spinner worm, and, crazy swim bait. and the crazy swim. Yeah, crazy swim bait is probably gonna be the hardest one. All right, well, heck yeah, dude, let's go. This is what we're using next. We've got the this contraption. Look at this contraption right here. Man. That is the weirdest. <laughs> I don't even know if this it's if this works. Like, oh no, oh no, 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 guys. Dude, you know people have been fishing here. Oh, Norm, I'm sorry. That well, it wasn't even your lure. Never mind, I'm not sorry. <laughs> well, I kind of am because I wanted them to like I wanted to be able to catch a fish on it. But so now, uh, I mean, unfortunately, we uh, that was that's oh man, that's tough. I feel like I should be punished somehow. Like I should, I feel like I should do like 25 push-ups because I lost that lure. This storm is like, look at I mean, just look like kind of nice and cloudy, and then bop. We, I don't even know if we'll have time to like right over there, like right there. That's it, do be storming, it do be storming. All right, well, as you can see, it is uh, it's starting to pour, and I'm not trying to be out here getting soaking wet. The Yeezys ain't trying to get wet, the norm ain't trying to get wet, so we're gonna go ahead to the truck. Day two, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We've got us uh, the new trap tied on. Norm is no longer with us because that storm, uh, that storm never did pass, basically. So, obviously, I ended up coming home. But that's okay. That's okay. That is okay. We're going to see if we can do it this morning. There we go, baby. There you go. Let's go. On the trap. That's a chunky fish right there. That's sick, though. Now we got the uh, the trap off the list. Now we got one more bait to catch fish with, guys. And that's that crazy colored swim bait. So let's keep on fishing and see if we can make that happen. All right, dude. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us today. Hope you had a great Fourth of July. Catch you next time. So quick little tip guys, while we're making our rounds on this last little golf course like stretch before we get back to the truck, if you notice this, it's very sandy, right? The whole, this whole thing is shallow and sandy and there's an island in the middle. There's some, some trees that provide some shade later in the evening. Uh, the reason I skip all this just now, I didn't even take a cast right here is because I'm working my way over to these vegetation like plots, vegetation right here in this little cove because there's, could you catch a fish out here? Maybe you know probably yes if you fished it long enough but the likeliness of you catching a fish on some kind of like vegetation like that or like structure especially in these summer months these fish want they i mean they're hot just like we are so they want to do their best to cool off and they're not going to be out here this is right here equivalent to a fish standing right here in the middle of the hot florida sun or 
California Sun or Texas, where, wherever you're from, doesn't matter, but it's literally the equivalent because there's no shade for, or anything for them to stand under. So that's why I skip all that. Just a quick little uh, pond hopper pro pond. Just the, just the tip. Go around this, uh, this black and blue Senko for a little bit. See if we can catch some on that. Well, I think that the golf course is closed. Tied the Senko on real quick just to see how this thing would uh, how this thing would work, but. Not a uh, not a bad little deal at all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap this video up. The only lure, unfortunately, that I was not able to catch a fish on was this uh, weird little swim bait right here. Whoever wins this giveaway, I, I hope that you're able to catch fish on. If you are, please tag me on Instagram and I'll put it back. I'll like share it on my story or or whatever. I'll post a picture. I don't even care. I, that was difficult. I actually ended up uh, switching to a Senko, just a weightless Senko. I just want to throw it top water just to uh, see if I can catch a fish. And I think I caught one or two. I, I don't even remember. Thank you guys again for watching. I greatly appreciate all the love, all the support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that thumbs up and turn that notification bell on. That way you do not miss any heaters. Trust me, nobody wants to miss heaters. Nobody wants to miss heaters with Norm. Nobody wants to miss heaters with Yak Pack. Nobody wants to miss heaters, period. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Positive vibes, baby. Positive vibes only. Peace.